Hey everybody, welcome to What the Flick. If we knew how to oil paint animate ourselves, we would do that. Maybe one of you guys will do it for us. Oh, that would be lovely. Rotoscoping at home. <laughs> Christy <laughs> Alonzo talking about the new animated film Loving Vincent. So this is a really cool experiment. It's a really cool idea. And for a long time, visually, it is very cool and very striking. And then that dissipates pretty quickly. Um, so this is kind of a Rashomon style murder mystery looking back at the death of Vincent Van Gogh. And it basically is live actors and then they have rotoscoped over them in really thick brush strokes to recreate Vincent Van Gogh's style. And so you feel like you're watching a Van Gogh painting or more specifically several actual Van Gogh paintings. You can sort of play like name that painting um, come to life. And that's a really cool idea. P people move and you can see you know, the, the movement of brush strokes behind them as they move through a room. And it's, it's a really interesting concept and it took like 100 oil painters to pull this off. And the script's not very good. And so for a while, like it's beautiful. And then you're like, oh, the people are just standing around talking to each other. But here, take a look, you'll see. Vincent van Gogh killed himself. How does a man go from calm to suicidal in six weeks? Vincent left this letter. So what brings you to Orver? I want to do something for Vincent. We talk about movies that would have been great shorts. Oh yeah. I think I think <laughs> 20 minutes of this would win an Oscar for like best animated yeah. short cuz it is a cool idea. Yeah. You know, you're you you're 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 telling a story about Van Gogh and you're using Van Gogh's visual palette to tell the story. And I know a lot of uh, there are animation purists who think that rotoscoping is just like off the table. Why is that? Because it's kind of cheating. You're painting you know. over live action stuff. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. And and I think there are ways you can do it that's interesting. I think some of Ralph Bakshi's films that have uh, incorporated that are good and Richard Linklater right. has done some kind of cool stuff with it. But it in itself, I think, is something that is it's kind of a small dose thing. You know, I, I over the course of a feature, I, I find it, it can get a little tiresome. And this one is so stylized because of the oil painting mm -hmm. and because of the whole Van Gogh thing. And yeah, they are, there's a ton of shout outs to very specific. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, there's you know the postman and there's mm -hmm. Starry Night and yeah. there's whatever you know. Which again, I think 15, 20 minutes, it would have been oh wow, that's dazzling, and I've never seen anything like that yeah. before. But yeah, after about 20 minutes, 30 minutes of this, you're sort of like, yeah, there's not enough story here and it's not written very oh, well. It's so dull. And so then I just started focusing on the people that were being rotoscoped, you know, so like when you see Sher Saronin mm -hmm. or Chris, Chris O'Dowd, Chris <laughs> O'Dowd, you're like, you're just, you're imagining what the original footage must have looked like before people started painting over on top of it, you know? Yeah, and it's, it's an interesting cast. And yeah, as you mentioned, Dorota Kobiella and Hugh Welchman are the, the co-directors and Douglas Booth is the star. He's the one you know, right. who has this note he has to bring to, to Theo Van Gogh. Yes, no, it's yeah, from to Theo Gang. Two, I think he has, it was. He has to deliver a note. Yeah. That Chris O'Dowd, <laughs> the postman, has given him. Anyway, um, and so yeah, you, you really start to realize once the novelty of, of the visual aesthetic wears off that it is staged and blocked so awkwardly and so stiffly that quite often it's just like you can tell it's um, Douglas Booth and Saoirse Ronan and they're just like standing on a soundstage with a green screen and they're right. like just staying there you know, talking with each other. It's super talky and what they're saying isn't all that interesting and um, it, it's, it's awkward and it, it drags, yeah. it's really draggy and maybe it's like an hour and 37 minutes long. But Ooh, it, it feels, feels longer. way longer than that, and it, which, which is a bummer. It feels like a missed opportunity. And, and, and yeah. visually, they paint themselves into <laughs> a corner. Ah. Oh, I see what you did uh, there. No, but I mean, but because they're trying to recreate certain mm -hmm. things, it's sort of like, okay, so you have to stand there in this room because that's what it looks like. This painting, or you have to you have to sit at the piano and mm -hmm. just like keep sitting at that piano. <laughs> and and you know, they might have had more freedom to do other things if they weren't trying to sort of constantly give us a sense that we're watching these sort of moving tableau in a way. Yeah. Uh, and so again, it's like you either write around that or you come up or you do it shorter or you 
you throw in more paintings. I don't know what the what the the how you what the fix is, but it needed one. Yeah, you you get there like they stand there and there you go. Yeah. <laughs> and me and I we all talk about movies that feel like a play on film. Like this feels like a play on film, but in the in the bad ways. It's a painting in on film. In the static film. ways, yeah. you know, where it's just like it the the momentum is just not yeah. there. You're so, watching paint dry. Yeah, you are literally <laughs> watching paint dry, um, but it's very pretty. So I'm giving this a five, just for sheer, you know, ballsiness and effort and the time it took to do it. Yeah, I'm giving it a six for the yeah. same reason, yeah. I, just for the chutzpah of uh -huh. it, and that they have literally created a new style of, uh -huh. of, of animating, or at least a sort of sub style of animating. Um, yeah, I just wish that they had backed it up with better writing and a more interesting story and you know because it's kind of like i mean it, it, this isn't this isn't even a thing where we're building up to van gogh's death it's already happened yeah. so we've got this character that we don't necessarily care about asking a lot of questions about it and it yeah. and he's dull he's dull <laughs> and and the investigation <laughs> doesn't really open anything so I, I don't know it's it's nice try you know and i think Somebody is going to use this later in a way that's more interesting, and we'll look back at this film as being the step on the path that got us there. I, think. I look forward to the Mondrian version. Oh, that there they we do. go. Um, so Picasso. Our number, yes, our number is a 5.5, <laughs> and it's a 73 percent on the tomato meter. But I suspect that a lot of that is just like barely positive because it's cool looking. Right. Anyway. If you're an animation buff, this is something different. You might want to check it out. Bye.